think I found the data plate. Check the starboard med. Lead is ready next. APU now. Paperwork. We have the engine start checklist. Set the bleed air switches. Echo location confirmed. Bearing 045. Grid reference 72 Tango. That's definitely the fuselage marking. See the scatter pattern? Yes, the coordinates match the flight path analysis. The crack runs along the seam here. The metal is heavily fatigued. We need to document the exact depth and the level of corrosion. Uploading the thermal scan now. I think I found the data plate right here. Okay, use the softer brush. I'm recording the position now. Look at the corrosion right here by the panel. The icing is heavier than expected around the hydraulics. We need to log all of this before the light goes. The seals are heavily corroded, but the heated tool is making progress. We anticipate a two hour delay for de-icing. We need to finalize the primary evacuation routes immediately. And confirm the equipment staging areas. We must adhere strictly to these reinforcement points. Ensure the sealant is applied evenly before we secure the container. Acknowledged. Move the heavy equipment to the staging area immediately. Check the starboard wing fixation point again. Displacement is fluctuating. Reading parameters now. Slight vibration noted. Coordinates stable at Delta 9. Proceed slowly. Watch the starboard side. Ice looks clear ahead. This choke point here will take at least three hours. We need to account for the snow depth. I've noted the delay. Clear the platform, check hydraulics. Roger that. Initiating scan sequence alpha. Main gear secured, ready for attachment. The reinforced mounts go here first. Yes, that protects the main fuselage. This stabilization gear is all set for the fuselage section. Perfect, I'll mark it down. We need to ensure the transport sled is ready next. Winch is engaging, hold position. Easy on the stabilizer. Got it, next shelf down. Stop all activity on the wing section. We have a hairline fracture. Analyzing the microstructure now. Ensure the boundary is clearly marked as per protocol. Recording position Alpha 3. Check the leading edge here. Looks thin. We need to confirm the structural integrity around the mount. The scan shows some stress fractures near the hydraulics. Bring it back just a touch. Hold it there, it's secure. Is the barrier secure on this side? Almost. The hydraulics are clear, but check the flap sequence. Got it, aligning the APU now. Ready for the system check. These readings confirm the micro cracks we saw earlier. Agreed. We need to document this entire section for the report. Look here on the schematic. The power fluctuation originates upstream. What about the tertiary coupling? That's stable. The issue is definitely localized here. The transient spike confirms the fault location. We need to isolate that relay before we proceed. All right, let's prep the replacement parts. The sensor reading is stable at 3000 PSI, but this entry is incorrect. Yes, cross-reference with the manual, we need to log the exact figure. I'll mark the new rivet points. 
The anomaly on channel four stabilized during the load reduction. Confirmed. Final readings are within expected parameters. This diagram confirms the correct orientation for the replacement tube. And the torque values match the maintenance schedule. The power modules are stable across the board. Good. Let's verify the harness connections on section four. Already done. Continuity is confirmed. The new firmware is incompatible with the analog controls. We need to rewrite the interface module immediately. Yeah. I'll have the team run the pressure test on the alternate actuator now. All right, let's finalize the paperwork. We are good to go. The data stream looks nominal on the primary screen. Cross-reference the altitude parameters on checklist 7B. Confirmed everything is within tolerance. All right, team, the hydraulics are stable. All parameters stable on the primary guidance system. Roger that. Confirming inertial alignment, we are go for autopilot engagement. Voltage appears completely stable across the board. Absolutely no interference detected on the line. Excellent, the system checks out. The actuator response is well within tolerance. All indicators are nominal. Let's verify section four of the schematic against the sensor data. Hey. The temperature fluctuations are minor, within tolerance. Yes, but the pressure drop here suggests we adjust the regulator. The deflection angles are within tolerance, sir. Look at page 87. The torque specifications are list right here. All right, let's proceed with the calibration. Emergency systems check is successful. All indicators are solid green. Confirmed on the diagnostics panel, supervisor. Very good. Let's Got sign it. off on the paperwork. The next phase is the operational review. We need to cross-reference the stability data with the maintenance schedule. I agree. Let's look at the thrust reverser schematics again. The simulation results are conclusive. Solid performance across the board. Excellent work, team. We can sign off on the clearance. The pressure is stable at 2,900 PSI. Temperatures are holding steady across the board. Looks good. We are within the operational limits. The parameter adjustment on the flight controls is complete. Good. Now verify the fail-safe activation sequence according to the schematic. Fuel pumps engaged, hydraulics set. Notice the pressure differential on the bleed air schematic here. And the alternate extension sequence is on page 42. This display shows the hydraulic schematics. Ensure you cross-reference the pressure readings with the manual during the pre-flight check. Radio check successful on primary frequency. Good. Monitor auxiliary power levels closely. Engine start checklist. Fuel shutoff valves. Open. Ignition. On. Monitored. Voltage stable at 240. Recording amps and temperature now. All parameters are well within the green. OK. All systems green. Confirming safety protocols are active. Ready for engine initialization sequence. Hydraulic pressure is stable across the board. Confirmed on the tablet, flow rate looks nominal. Temperatures are holding steady. I am planning on getting inside our minute, that's a total habit. We'll hold short at runway 28, set the bleed air switches. And flame air switches. 